What's up YouTube, it's Little 2 Techaholics, back at it again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show y'all 5 tips and tricks for the ZTE Z Max Pro. So let's get it in. Alright, so for the first tip and trick, um, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how to set different apps for your different fingerprints. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to go into the settings. Go into security, go into fingerprint, and I'll actually set up a pattern and everything like that. I already have two fingerprints set. And what you want to do is you want to go into quick or you want to go into quick open app. And you'll be able to set it uh, for like whatever app that you want to. I went ahead and I did music for this one, a show box for the other fingerprint. Unfortunately, this will not work whenever you're, you know, whenever you're open already on the phone screen. So pretty much what it does is that it unlocks and then it opens to that app. So a way that you can bypass that is you can download this app right here. It's called Fingerprint Gestures. And you go ahead and you enable that. And you could go ahead and um, see your gestures, so you could be able to go to a uh, single tap or a double tap, and you be able to set it as a back button, a home button, recent apps, and you could just scroll through whatever you want to. We'll go ahead and we'll set it for an app, and I'll go ahead and I'll set it for the music app, just like last time, and we'll go ahead and tap on it. And there you go open up the music app and for the second uh, tip and trick what we're gonna do is that we're gonna speed boost the phone so the way that you want to do that is you want to go ahead and you want to go down in the settings and you want to go ahead and go to about phone go to build number and tap it seven times or until it says you are a developer and then you open up developer options and then you scroll down until you see where it says window animation scale trans Asian uh, animation scale you want to go ahead and turn those either 0.5 or off but the reason why I don't like it on off is because it's too fast for me so we'll go ahead and we'll put it on 0.1 and then we'll go ahead and switch it back to 0.5 so you can just be able to go ahead and see the difference but the reason why they have this is because it has more of like a 3D effect and you'll see you know it has more of like a 3D effect and that's pretty much how they draw people's attention so go ahead and set it back to 5 5 and 5 and you'll see how it's a bit faster if you turn it completely off it don't even have that scale on there which I don't like it to be off so we'll go ahead and we'll turn it off and it'll pretty much make it to where it doesn't even have anything it'll just be really quick so that's how you could get the most out of your device if that's what you want you know with boosting the speed on it and we'll go ahead and get into number three so number three is you could change the storage location of your device so the way that you do that is you go back in the settings and you go ahead and you go to storage and you can either switch it for your phone or your SD card. This is a good feature because then you can be able to change like if you have like a higher SD card than what your phone storage is then you don't have to save it all on your phone and then run up that space but I would suggest you to get an SD card because of course as you see I have 32 gigabytes and already used 14 gigs um, so it'll, it'll run up pretty quick it 30, 32 gigabytes is a lot of space but it runs up fast so I would definitely get an SD card and you know definitely save some files to that maybe get like a 32 also so then you could have 64 gigs between your storage on your phone and then your SD card or you could go ahead and get a 64 gigabyte and then have almost 100 gigabytes on your phone so that's a good thing to note let's get into number four so number four is in the gallery and what's pretty cool about the phone is that it has you know hidden features and things that you might not know about the phone so 
one thing that you can do with this feature is you can be able to hide photos. And the way that you do that is by tapping on a, a, a photo gallery and then you see a little eye with a slash on it. You just go ahead and click it. And it says one album will be excluded and will no longer show in the gallery. Click OK. And then it says you see you can be able to manage it in the settings. So the way you get it back is you just go to the three dots in the top hand corner. Go to settings. Go to manage hidden albums. And then just tap on the one that you hit and go to show. And there you go. that will be right back here in your photos. So the photo gallery app actually has some pretty cool features like a GIF maker and then I got a collage maker. So I mean that's that's pretty cool. But then also hiding photos, you know, just in case if you have like photos like of like a yearbook or something and you don't want like somebody to see it and be like, oh my god, you know, that's an ugly photo of you, you know, whatever the case may be, you can just hide it really quick and then be like, oh yeah, look, you know, whatever. So the fifth and last. Um, tip and trick is my favorite um, so what you want to do is that you want to go into the music settings and you want to go ahead and pick a song and I'm just gonna pick a random one so hopefully it don't play alright so you want to go ahead and you want to pull it to where you have the album work and everything so the way that you do that is you just select your song and you just click down at the bottom and what you want to do is that you want to go up here into the corner where you see the three dots click on it and go to trim and what this does is that's a built-in um, it's a built-in um, ringtone maker so you want to go ahead and just level it to wherever you want it at I would do it for probably about 20 seconds you know that's a good minimal and then you just select portion that you would like go ahead and go to OK it'll open that up for you already to where you be able to test it out just go to the three dots again go to set as ringtone phone ringtone or notification ringtone whichever one that you would like and you have your custom ringtone you don't have to download a third party app or anything save more space on your phone and there you go so if you have any questions any comments let me know go ahead and comment and as always thanks for watching like and subscribe